Welcome to Stream News, the number one destination for your local and global tech news made in Miami. I'm Sofia Vitello. And I'm Liam Fabre. The London world premiere of No Time to Die will stream exclusively on Facebook, according to Stream reporter Mark Vander Austin. The social media platform has secured access to the live red carpet at London's Royal Albert Hall on Tuesday, September 28th, and will broadcast the event on both Facebook and through Oculus venues, an experiential space for the Facebook-backed Oculus VR headset. This immersive experience will allow Oculus users to access the red carpet live and stream through the updated Oculus Venues app. Facebook has also launched an interactive AR filter on Instagram, which it owns, which will give fans a chance to put themselves in the James Bond opening sequence. Researchers from UC San Diego supported by LG Energy have made a promising discovery that involves two popular types of battery tech. They created a solid state battery with an all silicone anode that could potentially deliver longer life, higher energy density and faster charging. This development could potentially make electric vehicles cheaper and more practical. So if you told your wife that you couldn't buy her a new Tesla because you wanted to take her on a long road trip someday, well soon with this new battery, you might not have that excuse anymore. Stream has officially launched Stream Studio. Stream Studio allows content creators to broadcast live videos to multiple streaming platforms simultaneously, like YouTube Live, Facebook Live, LinkedIn, or Twitch, and personalize the experience. If you're looking to make professional content, look no further. Visit stream.studio to check it out. Lamborghini says you can drive its new Huracan STO on the street, but I don't know why you would want to. I'm not saying that because the STO is outright brutality or the fact that you can't see out the back, but this ultimate road-going Huracan is just so hyper-focused on performance, I wouldn't want to waste a single millimeter of tread on anything other than the track. Don't believe me? Let's go over the numbers. It's powered by a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 offering 331 horsepower at a lofty 8,000 RPM as well as 417 pound-feet of torque. Oh, and by the way, if you like what you hear and you're interested in purchasing one, the sticker price for this beast before options is over $330,000. Sorry, guys. Twitch streamers may soon be able to restrict who can or cannot hop into the chat. According to Twitch observer Zach Bussey, the streaming giant is planning on adding expanded features that would allow streamers to require phone or email verification from the commentary. The way things stand now, since it's so easy to create new accounts on Twitch, banned streamers can simply create a new account and pop right back into the chat. Sometimes they do so with brazen insistence. With this new change, however, people will have to identify themselves and own their hateful comments. That means we will finally see that all of the hate mail I get is actually coming from Liam. The Verge has a strange tale about how a well-meaning teenager inadvertently messed up more than 4,000 social science experiments. In July, Sarah Frank posted a video on TikTok giving advice on how to make extra cash through side hustles. In one of her tips, she suggested going to prolific.com where social scientists pay people to fill out surveys about their studies. Frank showed how she could make about $15 a day doing so, and the advice went viral. More than 4 million people viewed the video, and soon Prolific was bombarded with tens of thousands of people signing up. The problem? Well, almost all of them were young and female, and the little-known site had no screening method in place to make sure studies delivered a good mix of demographics. With all of the respondents being young girls, it screwed up the diversity in the studies and messed up over 4,000 experiments. WhatsApp is pushing hard to get a slice of the money transfer pie by introducing mobile person-to-person -person payments in India and Brazil. And what's better than sending your friend a fast food combo's worth of money to cover that time you left your wallet in the car? Well, lots of things. But getting a tiny, tiny portion of that payment back in credit is probably one of them. A deep dive from WhatsApp Beta Info reveals that the future is currently being developed for future versions of the app. Though the framework is visible in the code, it looks like the cashback feature is limited to India, or that's merely where WhatsApp intends to use it first. Sounds like WhatsApp is coming for Venmo's lunch, so they better watch their back. TikTok has become an influential platform for all industries since launching in 2017. The revolutionary app has more than 2 billion downloads on the App Store, that's the most ever, and over 600 million active users worldwide. It should be no surprise TikTok is a hub for small creators trying to make it big in the entertainment industry. The app can launch an artist's career with only one viral video. TikTok has shifted the scales and made access to the music industry more accessible for small creators. The most prominent example that comes to mind is Olivia Rodrigo. We certainly love her music here at Stream, and we're grateful to TikTok for introducing us.
For those Gen Zers out there, it's a tough place to be. We always hear about boomers and millennials in the news, but our generation seems to get completely ignored. Well, here at Stream, we leave no one behind, and that's why we thought we should recap the Gen Z bucket list, a list of things we want to do before we die. Make a doctor's appointment, send food back at a restaurant, drink water, just five glasses a day, it's not that difficult, be into comic books and anime, it's always one or the other, never both. Order black coffee, cope in ways that are other than comedy, delete TikTok for more than a week, wear a color other than black, white, and gray, and the occasional navy blue, not form an entire opinion around a topic upon learning the slightest thing about it, not make fun of millennials, write a bad Yelp review, leave a below 20% tip, abstain from thrifting right after donating clothes, and finally, have more than one go-to fast food chain. Last week, Facebook debuted Ray-Ban Stories, the first generation Facebook smart glasses created in partnership with Ray-Ban, which allows wearers to capture photos and videos, take phone calls, and listen to music. Facebook's entrance into the wearables market with Ray-Ban Stories signals an important step in the company's larger business transformation. As Facebook seeks to bridge the divide between the physical hardware and the digital social apps to become a metaverse company, Matthew Ball, advisor and venture capitalist at Epsilon Co., said, "Quote: The metaverse will not fundamentally replace the internet, but instead build upon it and literally transform it." Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Thanks, and tune in next week for another episode of Stream.